Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the start of a tournament. As you can see in the title, I'm going to do the ultimate palette battle. Um, I did do a video like this a couple weeks ago um, and I was intending this to be just a random kind of, I don't know, video segment that I introduced every now and then uh, just to kind of look through my collection. But a lot of you guys um, in the comments said that I should do that and then pit the winners against each other. So today I'm here with that video or like the first installment of that video. Basically, I'm going to do, I think, should I do four rounds, five rounds? I, I will see. I'll do however many rounds, maybe five rounds. Uh, I'll do five rounds, I think, in this video um, and I will go through my palettes and basically pit them against each other. If I could have only one of the two palettes that I pull, which one would it be? So after those rounds are done, I am going to kind of forward those five palettes that win into the next round. And after I've done all of my palettes, the palettes that go into round two will continue the battle and so on. So this might be a series that take quite a long time, but I'm excited to do it. Um, I think a lot of you guys are too, judging from the comments on my last video. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite exciting. So before I jump into round number one, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So I have all of my palettes in a wheel right here for the ultimate palette battle round one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull my first two palettes and see what I will battle against each other for the first round. We have the California Coast palette from City Grace against the Biba. Okay, I'll get those two palettes and we'll talk about the first two palettes. So here we have the first two palettes and um, both of them are like neutral-ish color story. We have this one here, which is from Sydney Great, it's the California Coast palette, which is like a lot of rosy tones, um, kind of like smokier, mostly shadows. And then we have the Biba, which has a lot of different undertones. You have some more camel tones on top, some more reddish tones in the center and some more cool tones on the bottom. And I like this palette both. Um, this one I have played around with this year in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project and I liked it a lot. I ranked it, I think, relatively okay. Um, so that is this palette. This one I haven't gone around to yet. However, I know that I love this one and this is a palette that I feel like is like one of the perfect like neutral palettes that I could have in my collection. I can use this one with my indie singles. Um, and you have all the type of undertones that you would like. Also, I feel like the undertones in here are quite unique, even though it is a neutral palette. Um, especially, you know, the, the cool tones at the bottom I don't really have in other palettes. Um, and I love the reddy tones on the center, and then the top row is very, very rich. So I really like this palette a lot. And just judging from that, the winner of round one is going to be the Biba palette. So unfortunately, the California Coast palette is going to be out of the ornament, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this is winner number one. So let's go ahead and do the next palette. So we're gonna get the Mercury Retrograde palette against the Snow Dream palette. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go through those two palettes and show you which ones those are. So here we have those two palettes, and this is quite an interesting one. We have Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty, which looks like this. I think a lot of people love this palette. And then we have the Snow Dream palette from Odinsai, which is very, very new to so my collection. It's one of my newest palettes. And it's also, I think, the only palette in my collection I have not yet used. So I bought the four Odinsai Christmas palette releases um, in November, I think. Um, and I have used the remaining three of them, but this is the only one that I haven't going around to using yet. I'm going to test it in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project at some point, um, but I haven't gone around to it yet. So this one is quite a tricky one because we have two palettes here. This is a palette that I always say that I don't love as much as other people. I like it, but I don't know. It's just something about it that I don't like reach for very often. And then we have this palette here, which I think is a beautiful color story. It's very unique to me. 
and the shimmers in here look absolutely amazing um so it's a tricky one this Oof. i might sound insane but i think i'm going to pick the odin's eye palette the reason is that I'm going to put one palette down because the reason is that this palette right here I've had in my collection for a long time but I haven't built a connection to it. I don't love it. It's actually currently being tested in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project. I actually rolled that in this film like two days ago I think and I haven't tested like won it yet in that project. But it's going to be interesting to do exclusive looks with this palette because right now I don't really feel like I love it and it's a shame because I feel like a lot of other people do. So... Yeah, I think that's the reason why I'm not going to let this one win. Uh, this palette here, I really love the color story. I love the pastels in here. I also really love the undertones. I know that I love these type of greens like that are right here and like the, these tons, type of shades. I mean, that's white, but yeah, this here and then this here um, and some of the shimmers. Um, and it also has a lot of like nice neutral shades. And I feel like this palette is going to be very, very versatile. And I just don't really have these undertones in other palettes, which is what makes it unique. And that is also why this palette is going to win the second round. So let's move on and randomize two new palettes. We get the Divine Rose 1 palette from Pat McGrath against the Sendo palette from Natasha Nona. Okay, let me get those. So here we have those two palettes, two very high-end palettes. We have Pat McGrath against Natasha Nona. And this one is really difficult. This is probably the hardest one yet because I love both of these palettes for different reasons. With the Pat McGrath palette, um, it is a beautiful, cool-toned palette. And I don't reach for these tones very often, but it has some of my absolute favorite shades in it, um, particularly this shade right here, which is one of my absolute favorites. And it's just overall a really, really high quality palette. I really do like this one a lot. So that's number one. For number two, we have this palette right here, which is a Sendo palette from Natasha Nona. And this is an interesting one because this was a palette that I wasn't really interested in at all. But um, my friend Martina sold this one to me very, very like, cheaply. And I was like, you know, why not? It's a beautiful color story. Let me give it a go. And I really love this palette. I like it a lot. Um, I love the warm tones in this palette, but I also like them in combination with the greens. And it was just like an unexpected favorite. So this one is quite hard. I feel like color story wise, this one kind of wins, but quality wise, this one wins, which makes it really difficult. Which one would my, I rather reach for? <sighs> this is so hard. I think... I might regret this, but I think I'm going to go with the Divine Rose 1 palette, mainly for this shade here. I don't think I could live without that shade. I really love it. It's like one of the most sparkly, like cool toned, neutral, everyday shades, and I love it so much. And also, I don't really have too many cool tone palettes like this in my collection. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the Divine Rose 1 as the winner, and the Sendo is being eliminated. Okay, that was an intense round, but let's move on to the next one. We have the Hella Palette from Odin's Eye, also another new palette, against the, the Christmas Eve palette, also from Odin's Eye. Okay, let me get those and I'll show you the palettes. So here we have those two palettes, and uh, both of them are Odin's Eye. This is the Hella palette, which is more warm toned as greens and pinks and a couple of neutrals and then we have this palette right here which is the christmas eve palette which has a big array of colors it has some greens some blues some yellows and some purples but these are the two palettes and this is interesting because this is actually the first round where i've tested both of these palettes in my big fat eyeshadow project so i actually know which one of these ranks the highest but i think before testing these two palettes i probably would have gone with this palette here because the color story is way up my alley the warm greens are shades that I absolutely love. Same with those like warm pinks. It's colors that I absolutely adore. However, after playing with these two palettes, I know that I love this palette. It's one of my, I think, it's one out of two of the highest ranked palette in my collection from that project. And I just love how versatile its color story is. You can create some beautiful, like, everyday looks. And obviously some, like, really bright colors. But even though I'm not, like, a blue 
eyeshadow girly that often. There's just so much more to this palette and the shimmers in here are absolutely spectacular. They're so good, so sparkly. These are good too, but like these are on another level. Uh, and that's why this palette has to win. I love this one so much and it's an unexpected favorite for me. It's one that I didn't expect to love as much as I do, but I do and it's absolutely perfect. I love this palette very much. So let's move on to the next palettes. We have Sweet Talk from Colourpop. I think you got my Duolingo. Yeah, you got my Duolingo notification, but that's fine. The Sweet Talk palette from Colourpop against the Elva palette from Odin's Eye. Okay, let me go to those two palettes and I'll show you those. Okay, so here we have those two palettes. We have the Sweet Talk palette from Colourpop. Mine is slightly altered, I've taken out the pressed glitters and replaced them with similar shades. Um, and then we have the Elva palette from Odin's Eye again. I'm rolling most of my Odin's Eye palettes. I think I only have two Odin's Eye palettes left. So most of them have been in this video, which is quite interesting. But yeah, these two palettes right here. Um, this is a beautiful coral peach kind of, well, I guess more coral. Um, actually, no, coral peach on a tone palette. Really, really stunning. It's such a beautiful one. And this is actually in my... Big Fire Eyeshadow Project this month, so I'm going to play around with it in May. Uh, but that is the palette right here. And then we have the Elva palette, which was in my project in April, so I just play around with this one. And I really like this palette a lot. Um, I love the looks that I made with this palette, and it's more versatile than you might think. It's actually quite warm leaning, even though it looks like a mauve tone palette. Um, and I really like the undertones in here, and the trimmers are so sparkly. Uh, this palette is good too, and I feel like the color story in here is really pretty. It's perfect for this time of year, but it's hard. I think just because I prefer sparkly shimmers, I prefer like those type of shades, this one's gonna have to win, and the Sweet Top palette is being eliminated. So Elva is the winner for this round. So I've done five palettes now, but I think I'm gonna keep going because, yeah, I wanna go do a couple more. I feel like I'm not done yet maybe i should do like eight rounds we'll see but i'm going to keep going for a little bit longer we're going to go with the next two palettes we have the bronze palette from natasha nona versus the subliminal palette from pat mcgrath so we have another pat mcgrath versus natasha nona round but let me get those two palettes and show you Okay, so I'm back and I have my two palettes right here. We have the Natasha Nona Bronze Palette, which looks like this. Um, and then we have the uh, Pat McGrath Subliminal Palette, which is quite funny because we have a very warm tone palette and a very cool tone palette. So here, again, two different formulas, two different palettes. And I think in this case, I'm going to go the opposite way that I did earlier with Pat McGrath and um, Natasha Nona. Because I absolutely adore the bronze palette. It's one of my favorite palettes. I really, really love this palette a lot. And I love every look that I get from it. And the shimmers in here are way more sparkly than in the Sendo palette. So it's something that like I really like about this palette. Um, and on the other side, the Subliminal palette has some... It obviously has some special shades too. But again, it's missing those like super sparkly shimmer shades. Like that special shade in the... Divine Rose 1 palette, and also this is a color story that I don't reach for as often. It's very, very cool toned. So for this round, I think Natasha Renona is going to beat out Pat McGrath, so the bronze palette is the winner. So let me do two more rounds. Uh, we have what palettes next? We're going to get the Tiny Marvels palette from Sunny Grace versus... The Carly Bible palette. Okay, let me show you those two. So here we have those two palettes. We have the Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette, which looks like this. It's a beautiful palette. I really, really love this one a lot. And then we have this palette right here, which is um, the Carly Bible palette from Anastasia. I have definitely used this one more. I'm more familiar with this palette, but I have used both of these. Again, both of these have been in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project. Um, and it's funny because this is actually the second palette that has the highest ranking together with the Christmas Eve palette. 
And that kind of just shows it. I mean, I knew before I even took this palette out which was going to be the winner. It's easily going to be this one. I love this palette a lot. And this is a beautiful palette too, but it does not beat out the Sydney Grace palette. This one is just so spectacular. It's perfect color story. Quality is amazing. And I love this palette so, so much. So this is definitely going to be the winner. And this one is going to be eliminated. Okay, so for the last round, we're going to pull out two more palettes and we're going to get... The Aha Honey palette from Colourpop versus the Red Dragon palette from Odin's Eye. Another Odin's Eye palette. I only have one left, which is funny, but I'm going to get those two palettes and we're going to talk you through the last selection. So here we have those two palettes. We have the Aha Honey palette, which is like a monochrome yellow palette, which looks like this. I have changed out a couple of shades, but yeah this is the main color store i think i changed actually i think i only changed one shade which is the shade sunburst i changed that out um and then here we have the red dragon palette which is from odin's eye again and this is more of a neutral palette with a couple pops a couple like a green and a red and yeah very pretty so these are the two palettes um for this one as well i i already know my choice it's going to be the odin's eye red dragon palette I used to love this color story. I always said this is like me in a palette. Maybe not so much anymore, but this used to be like me in a palette with the color story. I really love this color story. I really love um, the greens and the golds and the greeny golds. And I like the red tone neutrals. All of those are kind of things that I love. So this one is perfect. I really love this palette a lot. Um, I haven't shown it enough love, but I do love it a lot. And this palette is nice. I do love yellows too, but it is a monochromatic palette. It's a bit more limited. So yeah, it's an easy choice for this last round and the Red Dragon palette is winning, whereas the um, Aha Honey palette is being eliminated. So there you have it guys, that is my first round for my palette tournament. The next video in this installment is going to be the kind of second round of the first round. So I'm going to continue on with a couple more rounds. I think I might continue doing eight rounds. Um, and then let me see, that would be 16, 32, I would be 32 palettes. So then I would have about 20 left. So that might be like one or more, one or two more rounds, depending on how many palettes I have. I will have to check exactly how many palettes I have nowadays because I'm not sure. Well, I, sh I have it in my spreadsheet, but I haven't checked. But yeah, it might be like three initial rounds, I think. And then once I'm done with those rounds, I'm going to reshuffle and we're going to move on to the second round with the winners. But that is going to be it for today. The next video in this installment is going to be up in a couple weeks. Uh, so look forward to that. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video idea down in the comments. And I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.